Wait! What is the tea? The girls are fighting! No! <laughs> the girls are fighting! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about what's going on in these streets. Now, listen, okay? I am not a um, rap connoisseur. I'm not someone who is a historian when it comes to hip-hop, rap. Um, you know, when I listen to rap music, uh, it's because I like the beat, <laughs> okay? And maybe, just maybe, there was something said in the song that, oh, girl, let me let her pass by. Uh, maybe there was something in the song that stuck out to me, but I'm not one of those people who can just go and just go, you know, line by line and bar for bar and know what the person is talking about. You know, you got to talk plain to me, okay? Um, now, we were talking about, you know, a little bit, a little bit of R&B, you know, a little soul, a little pop, a little alternative, right? Even a little country then I might can sit down and have a conversation with some of the girls and boys, right? You know, I'm more of Anita Baker, Mariah Carey, Tony Braxton, Deborah Cox, Tamia, Brandy, Monica, you know, Tyrese back in the day. Not the new Tyrese. Girl. Not the new Tyrese. Tyrese back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Tank, RL, you know, that that's more my speed, you know? And even some of the new girls and boys of today, you know? And then we can sit down and have a, you know, a little, a little tongue toss over the girls and boys and who's the best singer and who got the best album and all that stuff. Well, Meg Thee Stallion came out with a song and it's called Hiss. I listened to the song. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was, I watched the video yesterday. And when I saw the video, it made me love the song. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is cute. And so of course I got online and I saw people talking about, well, this is before the video came out. Because I think the song came out first. And I saw people talking about, oh, she dissing Drake. And they thought at one point she was talking about Rihanna. And then um, they said she took a, a, a jab at Nikki. And I'm like, what? What? Like, what's going on? And so um, people started talking about the lyrics of in the song. And I guess at one point he, she was talking about uh, people being obsessed with women getting BBLs, but they got their own scars. I guess she was talking about Drake, because we all know Drake don't win on the knife, allegedly. Ain't nothing wrong with it, because you know I just, I, you know I want me a little one, two, two, Drake. You know I can't wait till I lay on the table and get whatever I need to get sucked out, sucked out. So shout out to Drake and all the other girls, <laughs> okay? Um, and there was one line where I did not understand, and I'm like, what are they talking about? And it was something along the lines of, you're not mad at Megan, you're mad at Megan's law. And they kept saying that was a dig at Nikki. And I'm like, oh. Girl, I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh. Girl, where is Anita Baker at, girl? I think I'm just 65 days of the year. I want the same old loving, baby. Mm -hmm. all I want to do. Okay. Good, that's more my speed. So I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know what y'all talking about, no Megan's Law. I thought that was just a play on her name. You're not mad at Megan's, you you mad at Megan's Law. Like you mad because I like run the streets, I rule the world. That's what I was thinking. And then today I woke up. And finally, um, and nobody would ever say, everybody just kept saying, I did, I, I saw people saying, oh my God, like, oh girl, like Megan wore Nikki out real fast. Oh girl, Megan, that's a nasty work. I'm like, girl, what's going on? And so finally I got to, so I finally saw someone post what Megan's law was, okay? And I didn't still, I still didn't think that it was like a real law. I had never heard of this before. So anyways, girl, this is Megan's Law, okay? Are y'all listening? <sighs> Megan's Law is named after seven-year-old Megan Kanka, a New Jersey girl who was the R word and unalive by a known registered SO 
who had moved across the street from the family without their knowledge. In the wake of the tragedy, the Kankas sought out to have local communities warned about SOs in the area. Now, if some of y'all still, you know, not catching on, just to wrap it up, y'all do know that Onika is married to Kenneth Petty, and Kenneth Petty was convicted of Remember the whole Jennifer Huff? Now, Jennifer Huff was not seven. They were both teenagers um, when it happened. Y'all catching on? So she said, you're not mad at Megan's, you're mad at Megan's law. I said, oh. I said, oh. <laughs> Ooh! 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 I said, Megan, no. <laughs> no, girl. <laughs> I said, now that's how you get a bitch up off of you. Hello? Now, let me tell you something. Nikki, girl, I don't have no dog in this fight, okay? Girl, I'm not no team Megan. I'm not no team girl uh, Nikki. Now, this was Housewives, okay? We were talking about Kenya. <laughs> okay, then, girl, we might have to do a little tongue tossing. Uh, but I don't have no dog in this fight. Girl, I, but I do think this, though. They said it was 30 minutes after Megan dropped the song and Nikki was online. And I saw some of the things that I'm not going to I'm not going to play any of the clips because one, it was some music playing in the background. When I tell y'all. Nikki was losing it. <laughs> I get it. I do. Right? I don't think this is the thing. This is what I think. I think that the way that Nikki was cutting up online, I'm not mad at Nikki for responding because at the end of the day, she said what she said. Now I'm going to say what I what I'm going to want to say, what I want to say back. But it felt like to me the way the, Nikki's response and so the and, and how quick her response was after the song dropped, girl, she has been waiting for Megan to say something that would give her a reason to go off. <laughs> girl. Because girl, Miss Thing was carrying a whole line last night. At one point from the clips that I saw, I didn't see I didn't catch the live or wherever she went live at. But at one point she was like, I'm talking about your dead mama. Something about her dead mama. He's talking about your dead mama. I oh, bet your dead mama. Talking about your dead mama. I oh, bet your dead mama. Talking about your dead mama. You lied on your dead mama. Oh, you're dead mama. You lied on your dead mama. I said, oh my God, girl, what is going on? Girl, what is going on? I said, oh my God. I saw a clip of her saying that Nikki is not going to disrespect her son. I mean, uh, that Megan is not going to disrespect her son. I didn't hear Nick. Like I said, girl, I don't know, girl. Maybe it's some uh, something underneath that I just don't that I didn't catch. Um, I didn't hear Megan say anything about her son. I do believe this would happen sometimes when people get into an argument and they may come after a mother or a father as far as parenting or even what Ma even what Megan said about girl, you're not mad at Megan, you're mad at Megan's law. They take that as a you're disrespecting. If you're disrespecting the father, you're disrespecting my child. I don't look at it stuff that way. Um, I just don't look at it stuff that way. So I don't know what Nikki was talking about. I hope, I hope Nikki, I hope um, Megan ain't said nothing about the baby. Um, girl, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I thought was hilarious. Girl, in one of the video, uh, in one in the video I saw, Nikki was. <laughs> Girl, Nikki was going off, and all of a sudden, I saw somebody in the background. <laughs> it looked like it was, I don't know. I'm not going to say it looked like it was kidding. I don't know. It looked like a grown man. Girl, that was in the refrigerator. I said, girl, can you imagine? Girl, walking through the house, and girl, whoever, girl, and your, your, your wife is sitting, girl, I ain't going to say 10 feet, because I'm sure Nikki got a big old house. Girl, Nikki sitting in the other room. Going on, talking about you lying on your dad, mama. Oh, you're dead, man. You lying on your dad, mama. Oh, you're dead, mama. You in the kitchen just trying to get a snack. 
girl, and you hear somebody in the other room talking about, you know, you're dead, mama. Oh, you're dead, mama. Oh, you're dead, mama. And you're like, what is going on? God. And it, it was Anyways, you know, I thought the song was cute. A lot of people are, Nikki is receiving a lot of backlash. She's receiving a lot of backlash for the things that she, I think it was more so about uh, Onika's, uh, Onika's, uh, uh, Meg's mother. Look, like I said, girl, I done told y'all, I'm going to say it again. If the girl's going to fight, the girl's going to fight. And one thing I want to say before I say what, I'm, what I was about to say, you know how like 15 different thoughts going in my head is, I would rather have the girls fuss and fight over the internet and make diss records than for it to go to the next level. Hello? So if Nikki want to respond online and curse and holler and scream and then you're like, you're dead, mama. Oh, you're dead. I'd rather her do that than girl for the girls to start going to the the next level. You know what I'm saying? Um, But like I was about to say, you know, the girls, yeah, the girls, the girls are fighting, and my whole thing is, as long as it stays one on one, okay. As long as it's not, you know, I heard, you know, saying nothing that's a, you know, a racist or, you know, anti LGBTQ. Then, girl, I'm pretty much okay with it. I don't know what Nick people say. People been saying that Nikki been throwing shots at Megan, and I guess Megan just ain't never responded. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't keep up with them like that. What I do know is that Megan made a song and the people say she was taking shots at everybody and Nikki responded and here we are. And Nikki was talking about that girl's dead mama. She said, Hold I think she said she go conjure up your mother and apologize to her. I said, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I said, this is getting nasty. Girl, this is some nasty work. All right. Who is this? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I wanted to talk about this. So, Tiana Taylor. <clears throat> Tiana, baby. I think you have some misdirected anger. Um, the person I feel like that, 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 that Tiana really should be going after is that man of hers. Because I, I, I just, the, Tiana still ain't, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me, let me, let me slow down. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. So TMZ posted a story yesterday about Tiana. Okay, so Tiana Taylor. The, so this was the this was the headline that TMZ wrote. Exclusive. Tiana Taylor says Iman, whatever his last name is, cut utilities uh, in home, leaving kids with no water. And then um, they wrote uh, Tiana Taylor says Iman um, is playing dirty in the divorce war, claiming he's slowly shutting down all the utilities in the home where she um, lives with her two children. See the explosive allegations from the new court filing at the link below, okay? Now, Tiana got in the comment section. She del- I don't see her comment. I'm assuming she went back and deleted the comment because when I went to the comment section last night, you know I took a screenshot. <laughs> One thing about a messy bitch. Let me say something. One thing about when you do the shit that I do, you got to always make sure you got your receipts, okay? Because the girls love to do an old tweet and delete. <laughs> Okay, the girls love to do an old post and take away. But girl, when you a messy bitch like me, I'm always gonna take a screenshot because I know how y'all girls do. <laughs> y'all be want to talk. Y'all be want to get on the line talking, okay, girl. And I'm gonna go ahead and do just like this. Listen, this is this is what I do. This is what I be doing. Okay, that's me. Okay, because I'm gonna get it. Because <laughs> I know. Because I because I knew Tiana was gonna bring her black ass back and try to delete that comment. I don't see it nowhere, so I'm assuming she deleted it. So, anyways, um, 
This is what Tiana had to say. I'm going to read what she wrote. I'm going to post it too so y'all can see. <clears throat> Tiana, you still ain't really saying it. So, okay. I'm going to tell you why I, where I feel like Tiana is trying to say. Are you serious? Y'all really be taking it too far with these damn misleading headlines, and I'm tired of it. Every time I turn around, it's either half-leaked and made-up stories or words being twisted up for clickbait. I kindly ask you MFs to mind your business and for y'all to respect me and my family's privacy. However, y'all still putting out effery, okay? If you're going to keep leaking my documents, show it all and come correct. Stop taking bits and pieces and putting tens on t uh, tens on twos. Girl, you got to do seven once. Girl, if I was TMZ, I'd put out every document. Well, you said put it out. <laughs> okay, what you want? You said I'm just following you. I'm just telling you. Um, she put, I've been very graceful, cordial, and protective of all parties involved in this whole process. Sadly, that energy has not been re reciprocated at all. Well, so we need to go talk to Iman because that's, that's what it sounds like. That's, 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 that's what it sounds like you're talking about. And I'm trying to understand Iman because I know that's who you're talking about. If you steady showing grace and being cordial, why are you still trying to protect all parties involved if the same energy has not been reciprocated? I'm so confused. But as far as I'm concerned, Iman can eat my pussy from the back. Okay? <laughs> Girl, Iman could go out there and choke. I'm not going to keep showing you grace and mercy and trying to be cool. And girl, you over here, girl, pretty much a terrorist behind closed doors. But you still want to protect, you still trying to protect him for whatever reason. Girl, you, you sound like a fool, T, if we're going to be honest about it. Um, but I still walk in grace. However, I got time today, girl. Once again, from day one, Tiana has never said anything to anyone. You don't have to say anything to anyone. I don't think anybody is saying that you said it. They saying that, girl. No, I don't think anyone is saying that they got the news directly from you. I've been hearing people say they got it from the court documents. <laughs> I've been hearing people say that you said it in the court documents. But I haven't heard people say, oh, girl, we did a one-on-one -on -one interview. Or, you know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't spoken to any blogs or anyone else for that matter. My court documents are in clickbait to be used for salacious headlines. Y'all are taken away from my original court complaint, uh, which newsflash has to be submitted giving your reasons as to why you're filing for divorce. So basically you're saying you're, you said this in your original court complaint. Okay. Um, as well as other court documents and created, creating these stories. If you MF is going to be in my business, be, be in the whole thing, get get i think she meant accurate get accurate information and actually comprehend i can't stand y'all and let's settle this once and for all i filed for divorce under initial under initials for privacy which kept this matter private for almost a year until someone hold up okay until someone decided to file a motion using our full names her husband that's what she's talking about Girl, on some real shit, Tiana, I get that you are, you should you should be able to ask for privacy. You're not going to get it, girl. As long as TMZ, Entertainment Hollywood, Access Hollywood, as long as they're around, girl, they're going to keep leaking y'all stuff. <laughs> and girl, as long as I'm around, girl, I'm going to keep talking about what they leak. Girl, I'm not going to look for none of the stuff. I just got, I just get on the shade room and girl, there it is. I just go on TMZ and there it is, girl. I'm not going to look for nothing. But as long as they are around, girl, you're not going to have any privacy. So I hate to say it, and it may sound mean. You might as well let that go. That train sailed a long time ago. I think where you should have any type of disappointment or where I guess you should have any type of um, feeling that you should be protected or it should be with your, should be with your husband. I think everything stems from Iman. You said that you were you you were doing this for about a year until it got leaked. By who? Iman got your shit cut off. You said it. Let me finish reading. Hold up. Okay, let me keep reading. Um, which kept this matter private for almost a year until someone decided to file a motion using our full names, which then made our divorce proceedings public for the world to see. Also, let me add, all my utilities in my home was back on the same day. So he cut them off. Now, where I will say, where TMZ put some sauce on it, you know, shout out to Ashley. You know, she loved to say people put sauce on shit. 
where they put sauce on it is when they said, let me go back to the headline. When they said, um, Tiana Taylor says Iman cut utilities at home, the, you, util, cut utilities at home, leaving kids with no water. It does sound like girl that was over there, girl washing their ass with girl baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? It does sound like oh my god, girl, they ain't have no water. You know what I'm saying? Well, technically, girl, y'all did go without water, right? Even if it was for an hour or two, you had no water in your home. But it's not as it's not like girl, you went days without water. It was probably a couple of hours, girl, and you was good to go. Didn't nobody suffer, didn't nobody die. You know what I'm saying? Just if you go to the restroom, you can't flush the toilet until we get the water right. You know what I'm saying? Um, um also let me add all my utilities in my home was back on on same day. Me and my kids never gonna be sitting ducks. F out of here. Again. Tiana, you're really not saying, all you're really doing is pretty much confirming that everything that they're writing is true. you just on some, and I ain't, talk, I ain't talk to nobody. You don't have to talk to nobody. You don't have to. Because if they go get the court records, and girl, what, whatever you said is in the court records, girl, you said it. You didn't say it directly to them, but you said it. Girl, you should be pissed off. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. You should be pissed off at Iman. That's what all your anger should be directed to. Everything. Nobody even knew that Tiana and Iman were not even together no more. Nobody. It wasn't until Iman had that bitch down to the Instagram with his chain on. Tell me if I'm tell telling a lie, y'all. That's when every that's when the whole shit started. Iman didn't even have enough respect for you or your family or his kids to say, you know what? I'm gonna make sure that while we go through this process. I'm gonna do what I need to do. You do what you need to do, and we gonna it's gonna be a seamless process. No, he wanted to be a messy queen. And that's how everybody's in y'all business now. You went a year without us knowing your tea. You could have went two years without us knowing your tea if. Hello? Anyways, y'all, that's all I wanted to talk about. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.